I was, I was never going to be a musician, that's not something I do, and I, I, I wasn't going to be a singer. So I wasn't going to be in a band, but I was crazy about music, and so I naturally kind of, you know, moved towards the, the sleeves. That seemed the, the, the most logical place for me to go. I worked on a Saturday in a record shop, a fantastic little record shop that, was, that, was, that had the walls covered in punk, homemade sleeves that everyone had released, and Factory Records was releasing its first stuff, Peter Savile's first stuff and things like that. During the week I was working as a junior designer in a design company, but at weekends I was kind of meeting bands and meeting people from Factory and all the rest of it. And um, one of them eventually asked if I'd uh, design their cover, and that's how it all started. And I had to traipse down to Granada Studios during the shooting of one of Tony Wilson's shows, and that was my first factory record sleeve and I took along two designs I couldn't I couldn't they were exactly the same but I couldn't decide which color I wanted to do them and Wilson just said well we'll do them both darling and that was that was kind of really nice because that was that, that, that set the agenda for the rest of my career really it was kind of you know at that point with factory you could do anything you wanted really nothing nothing was out of bounds somebody from the record company approached me and said that they felt I'd be right to work with Jason Pierce from Spiritualized. And so they, 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 they set up a meeting and Jason came along and he's, he's, you know, he's kind of full of ideas and pretty intense. And when you get a client who kind of cares as much about the process as, as, as you do as the designer, you're in a really good place. It, re it, re it really kind of helps. He said that the reasoning for that was that he felt that music was medication for the soul. And that really kind of resonated with me. And the idea just literally popped into my head that, we, that, 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 that maybe it could be a pill. And the idea that you would then have to pop this pill physically through the foil in order to play it. And that you might feel better for playing it as a consequence just felt like a really nice idea. Well, it was, it was, <laughs> it was actually quite complicated to do, but, but, it, but, but the, as an idea, it, was, it just ran and ran. Suddenly we started thinking, well, there was 12 tracks, so we could do two trays, each with a three inch, uh, with six three inch CDs that had to be popped. So you did actually get a physical giant packet of pills uh, with a track on each one. And, um, and then that continued into the, into the, um, into the, um, the leaflet that you would get if you if you bought kind of um, headache pills or whatever, telling you possible side effects, and we had some kind of great fun with that, just coming up with copy about um, how it may cause dizziness, these kind of things, just just kind of good fun really.